We're getting a ton of messages regarding the next generation NCLEX and wanted to address them here. The next generation NCLEX begins April 1st, 2023. This applies to anybody taking the NCLEX on or after April 1st, 2023. It doesn't matter what year you graduated. It doesn't matter if you graduated before or after a specific year. This is changing for everyone in general beginning April 1st, 2023. The minimum number of questions that you will see on the next generation NCLEX will be 85 questions and the maximum will be 150 questions. The time limit will still be five hours, but some people might have accommodations, so this can vary. There will be 15 unscored questions within the minimum length exam. These 15 questions will not be identified as unscored and they will be sprinkled in. So you need to go into the exam with the mentality that every single question you are receiving is scored because you won't know. 18 questions within the minimum length exam will be derived from case studies. Each case study has six questions. You, that means you will receive at least three case studies on your NCLEX. Another important thing is if you get 85 questions, the minimum length, 18 of them will be from the case studies, but the remainder will be standalone questions. Those can be traditional questions like we see on the NCLEX now, or they can be next generation style, such as highlighting the correct answer or using a drop down menu or even a bow tie question. The purpose of this revised exam is to better measure clinical judgment and critical thinking of nurses. But as long as you know your content and strategy, this will only help you become a better nurse and feel more confident when you get onto the floor.